is Jordan a memorabilia business onto himself? For sure. Um, although obviously there's intricacies on what's big, what's not, you know, his 1986 Fleer rookie card in a PSA 10. So that's the highest graded. There's 323 of those. Um, and they're now about 180,000 a piece during the pandemic. It went as high as 786,000. Um, you know, but there are, what pieces are you buying? And I think I always say when there's real one-off pieces, when they're, when it's one of one, that's really where you're in good shape. And, you know, these these flu game shoes that just sold again for the second time. So they first sold in 2013 straight from the ball boy, uh, Preston Truman, for $105,000. And then they just sold for $1.38 million. And I think the reason for that over time, since it's not just inflation, is, you know, you just look at there. it's one of one. It's Jordan's most iconic game and to own a piece of that that's authenticated that's real um I think the game use stuff the good game use stuff um particularly for the past when they didn't wear four to five jerseys and eight to ten shoes <laughs> but is anybody uh, gonna... anybody close to Jordan in, in in any other sport uh I mean Gretzky's jersey from his last um, you know, game with the Rangers is less NHL game just sold for about 750,000. I think Jordan's kind of on his own, although like, you know, I collect tickets and the, the, the bigger ticket than Jordan's debut is Jackie Robinson's debut. There's fewer of them. Obviously it's from 1947, but as a whole, well, I think Do you Jordan have one of those Darren alone. Jackie Robinson debut tickets. I do not. Uh, I had a chance to buy one. Um, I had to take, I would have had to take it off the back of something. And I was worried about uh, the the wear and tear on it. I probably shouldn't have. That was a mistake. Yeah. Uh, but I do not have one of those. I do have, uh, I do have Bobby Orr's flying goal ticket. Uh, there's only four of them. 1970. Um, is, is Jordan memorabilia a good investment? Or is it buying too high? I think it just depends. I just de think it depends on on what it is, right? Like, so, you know, at the high end, that 86 Jordan Fleer, like, I mean, that that went down. I think it depends on what you're buying. Each You can't just say, there was a, there was a tweet recently that I put out where Patrick Mahomes, one of his greatest cards, has declined since he won the, the, the two Super Bowls. And I think it's just based on, it's not just a factor. We're not just playing fantasy out here, right? There's a lot of factors behind this. How many were made? How many were kept? What, what's the condition of them? And I think, you know, you just have to, I, I like one of ones. I also like to go contrarian, Dan. So like I brought you. Okay. Eight uncirculated, uncut dollar bills signed by Warren Buffett. You know, think that way. Okay. You know? Yeah. 